Hey, what up everybody, I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War on PS4. And today we're going to do it live because I don't have that much time, so let's get to it. It's the bounty. The awesomest event in the world. You get the most rewards, the most resources, it's not even that hard. Gotta get my tribute though because my gems are going down. Yeah, this is live commentary, so those of you who like that, here it is. Anything can happen. An alien can burst through the wall and fry me. A, a, a midget can burst through the door and do a cartwheel. You never know. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I don't want my mail. I was just getting my tribute because look at those gems. 5,130. I used to think that was a lot. But that could be gone in a week. That could be gone in, yeah, like a week. Um, I liked it better when I had like 8,000. But yeah, I'm talking too much. Let's go. Bounty. New decent bounty troop. Goblet. Female goblin. Goblet. And uh, we got to get the shop. Got to hit the shop here. Um, How much am I going to hit the shop? I want to get all the rewards. Here's the problem with the shop. You never know how many turns it's going to take to get to the end. And this is a long way. You got 20 to go. I need that major chaos orb. Reason being because of Zulgoth. I'm trying to get orbs. I'm trying to get blue orbs so I can craft Zulgoth. That's part of the ingredients you need to craft it is blue orbs which turn into power orbs. Well, all the orbs together, like Captain Planet, turn into a power orb. But, um, and I know y'all get that reference, because I see the age group that watches this. You know, you get that reference. You get that Captain Planet. I see y'all. And then, um, the UK is coming through pretty strong, too. So, let's get those numbers up, too, guys. Uh, USA is number one here, but UK is coming up. They're coming up, so. And the females, too. I'm sure they don't appreciate me calling them females, but <laughs> there goes there they all go. They all ran away. All three percent of them, or five or whatever. But come on, Sandy, let's get. This is why I don't do it live. Uh, the shop. Yeah, let's buy at least the first two. You got to do that, and then I usually just go from there. The first two are the most, um, the ones that help the most. Maybe I'll just get Goblet totally to mythic. That's usually a good idea. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need that many. Even though it's going to hurt me so bad to go under 5,000 gems. But I want to get her all the way to Mythic. So that's what I'm going to do. I know most of you can't do that. But it's not... It is a big deal, kind of. Because if you get your Bounty Captain to um, Mythic, you get more points. But um, you can also do that with your blue orbs. But I just can't do that right now. So I have to use my gems. Because if I use my blue orbs, then I'm just setting myself back for Zulgoth. So if this was a normal situation and I was not going for Zulgoth, I would probably buy this one, this one, and maybe one or two more just to get it to, um, to where I didn't have to use a bunch of blue orbs. Like maybe one. So I'd probably go to like tier 4 or 5 to where I only have to use like one blue orb. I think that's what you, most people do, actually. And then, if you want, you could go to, like, Tier 3 and use, like, two blue orbs. It's all up to you and what you're doing with your blue orbs. If you're, like, no, if you have zero, um, zero power orbs and you're not even thinking about Xulgoth yet, but you have, like, 20 blue orbs, you might as well use it on Bounty. Might as well. But let's get rid of this Blightwing, this troop that never worked right. Don't know what they were thinking always screwing up. The shop freezes. Blightwing doesn't work right. They're always trying to give us off. I gotta quit going hard at the devs, really. Gotta quit that. Gotta quit it. Because they're really... I, I do appreciate them. And I don't have anything major against them. And I don't know why I do that. Uh, but I think Chris Turtle... I don't think we need him, do we? I don't know. Let us grab the new bounty captain first of all. 
I'm gonna keep an excavator in Tigraki. And I might bring back Chris Turtle, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of, um... Because he's our damage, Tigraki. Excavator creates red, boosted by brown destroyed, which is perfect for Tigraki, who is red and brown. So we have a mana generator and our damage. So we do need a tank, so maybe I will get Chris Turtle back. But what you do is you search by bounty. You just type in bounty. Bounty search. And sometimes my live videos are way longer because I just get on a tangent like I already am. And I can't pause, so I get to hear everything. Um. So here's all of our bounty troops. This is every single one of them. You just type bounty, hit search. So let's find, uh, what's her face? Goblet first. So that's the first thing I'd do. Put her in there. You need her. Go ahead and upgrade her. Ascension all the way up, if possible. If not, use your blue orbs. If not, it's not a huge, huge deal. You may not make it to the end of the bounty, but if you're low, such a low level that you can't uh, ascend goblet, which everybody's been there, so it's not like a, I'm putting you down or anything. I've been there. I know how it is. I remember not having enough gems to buy enough stuff in the shop to get um, events done, so I just you just do what you can. You don't get discouraged. You just do what you can. And save up. Don't go blowing your gems on weird stuff. Don't go buying all the armor in the shop. Don't go, uh, don't go buying things, other things in the shop. Don't go opening a ton of chests, you know? Unless that's what you need. Should I even ascend her? Let's see. There you go. It lets me go down to guard now. That's wonderful. Does anybody know why that was happening? Do you remember that video? I know not every single one of you watch every single one of my videos, but I went to upgrade some sort some sort of troop. Um it was like a common ferocity. That was last Friday, so a week ago. And I was going to try to meddle it, and I couldn't go down to Medal of Guard. It wouldn't let me. So I had to use Medal of Yasmins. They need to uh refund me or something. I'm going to use three of these here because I wasted a bunch of Yasmins on the Ferocities, so let's balance the world here. Here and there and everywhere, I like to say. There, 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 here, here, here. Don't. Okay, now I'll do, I guess, this one. I don't want to... I used a bunch of my Yasmins on Ferocity usually want to go with whatever the first 100% is, because that's the best value, usually. So, on that first one, I probably should have done Yasmin. And I got a bunch of Orpheus, that's good. What else do I got? There's one Lonely Nisha, that's terrible. Four Seasons, though, I don't need four of those, that's nice. I could uh, upgrade something, too bad it's an epic. Anyway, let's keep going. Award medals. So now she's the most powerful she can be. Level 20, fully ascended. All of her medals. Only way she could get more powerful is if I got more powerful. Uh, let's see. So now we need something else. What do we got here, first of all? This is going to do all of our damage most of the way through. Well, all the way through, pretty much. He's going to make for him. She entangles the first two enemies or give half mana to first two allies. So we need, like, a tank that does damage. That's what I feel like we need right now. A tank that does damage. Uh, no damage mitigation. No. Can you sort by, like, tank? Troop type. Nope, that's not it. Uh, troop roll. Defender. None? There's no bounty defenders. Okay. Um, there's no bounty defenders. That's weird. Well, I know Chris Turtle is one. So, clear filter. At least y'all get to see me make my team here. Oh my god, I cleared the whole thing. Bounty. Dumb dumb. Alright. What should we use? See, I'm thinking Chris Turtle because he's... 
Convert a chosen color to brown. That helps with Tigraki. Barrier and submerge a random ally. That'd be, that'd be really. This is gonna be the most safe team ever. It looks like. So let's put Tigraki in the third slot. Third slot is the most protected slot in the game. So he's our most important troop. We don't want him, even if he's the toughest one, we don't want him taking unnecessary damage. The most likely uh, troops to get hit are Chris Turtle here. That's why he's got reduced damage from Skulls by 50%. And we like that. And Excavator, because some troops hit from the backup. Is every one of these guys meddled too? Ooh, yeah, nice. Meddled, meddled, meddled. All right. Let's look at our banner. It's probably right because we really want probably two brown, two two brown, one blue. Just because we have two brown and we have two blue, you know? That's the most, the color that we have the most of. So two brown, one blue, minus purple. Ugh. Don't like minusing. A color that I need. Let's see if there's another two brown, one blue. I guess we would do this, and that helps find it. Two brown. We got two blue, one brown. I don't want to go minus yellow. Two brown, one yellow, minus. Do we? Are we missing any colors? We got yellow, blue, green, red, brown. Nope, not missing anything. So then you say, which troop do we need, you know, the spell, their spell the least? And I would say, probably Goblet, so minus green. The bounty captain. Minus green, so two yellow, one brown, no. So we don't really have a minus green with two brown. But we can look at everything that is minus green, just real quick. Two red, one purple. Not really. We need brown or blue. So two blue, one yellow. No, we don't really want that much on Chris Turtle. Two blue, one red is not terrible because Tigraki. I might just go with that. It's probably not the best choice, but my thinking is it's helping Tigraki, which is what we need. It's minusing Goblet, which is the the troop that does the least helpful spell. Even though she can give half mana, she, um... Unless she would go with Chris Turtle, but... He can convert a chosen color to brown, which is gonna help Tigraki. Goblet maybe will give half mana. Maybe. And he barriers and submerges a random ally. Okay, so let's stick with this. We need to get started anyway. And to battle. So this may just be, like, the first few battles, because I can't... When it's alive... Uh, video you gotta take the good with the bad here you can't have a live video that shows you the beginning and very and the end plus it's a weekend long event it's hard to get to the end in one day but uh, let's just take these skulls because in the beginning uh, it wrecks to take skulls might as well take them we got Tigraki up might as well do that as well he deals 32 true damage to an enemy boosted by their armor. So later on, he just gets better because they just get more armor. Let's pick the troop with the most armor to make sure you kill them. And now we have Excavator and we have uh, Chris Turtle. So I see here that we can turn green to brown. So I'm going to do that. It probably was something better to turn, but I saw that. And it's early battle, so who cares? I need to... Destroy a column. Create five red gems boosted by brown gems destroyed. So the good thing about this, why it goes so well with Tigraki, is to eat. First of all, he creates red, which Tigraki uses. And the qualifier for him to create more red is to destroy brown, which Tigraki uses. So both the things that he does, Tigraki needs. So look for the row with the most brown in it and the least red. So two brown here, two brown here three brown here and only one red that looks like a good uh candidate one brown here two brown here one brown here two brown here so look at this one three brown and just one red so we're gonna pick that one 
hopefully get an extra turn, get to Rocky up, or, and everything. So, let's finish that battle. Get on to the next one. Hopefully I'm giving you good advice. I've thought about doing a video. I hope no one else does these videos if I say them. So I might just keep it to myself. Never mind. Not that anybody watching this would. Most people watching this are on my side, you know? I was thinking about making a video going over, like, how to move gems around and, like, what to think about while you're having a battle, you know? I gotta pause this for a second. Hold on, guys. I guess I can pause. It's just a little bit more difficult. Um, just how, how I, how I, my thought process when I'm looking at a board and moving gems around. Like, I know I already explained that a little bit, but like, I haven't thought of how to do the video yet, but, like... I don't know exactly what I'm... I can't explain exactly what I'm talking about, but... How to move gems around as a beginner. Some people don't know, like... They just take... They'll just go, Woo, red! Boom, red! I'm done! And then they'll go, Ooh, it's saying to do this! I gotta do this! Um, they'll just say, Ooh, I like the tiger guy! I'm gonna take brown! Boom, boom, take the brown! You know, they don't even think about what's the best move. What about cascades? What about overhangs? What about, um, if I take this color, they'll take that color. If I take this color, they'll do those skulls. The skull, like, skull distracting. Um, yeah, like stuff like that. Skull distracting, cascades, overhanging extra turns, uh, colors, which color to take, which troop to get up first, what the enemy's gonna do, thinking about that. You know, stuff like that. You can, there's a lot of ways you can, uh, move gems around. And you could do it wrong, or you can do it right. And when to take a turn, and like, I don't know. This game's more complicated than some of us think it is, because once you get used to it, it doesn't seem complicated at all. And I just took brown without even thinking there. So that's, let's see what Goblet does, just for fun. Entangled, whoop de woo but she gets an extra turn, so that's nice. So even if, she just entangles. You can still... Here's what I'm talking about, like an overhang extra turn. Right here. So there's two purple. I see these, like, in my dreams. Like, I know they're there. And some people don't even think about them at all. But here's two purple. And here's two purple. If you can somehow do a three match under these two purple, and those are, that's what I call an overhang extra turn, then you can get an extra turn. So if I match this green right now, I'm going to get an extra turn. Some people don't even see those as extra turns. They just totally miss them. But there's an extra turn right there, served up for you on a platter. Um, some beginners probably would never even think of, of that as an extra turn. They would just take this right here because it's flashing. Anyway, we, let's on conversions. Like, looking for conversions. Like, I need... To convert a chosen color to brown so I'm always looking for that so right here I can convert yellow to brown and get an extra turn so you kind of got to think ahead it's like chess you got to be thinking what would happen if I turn this color to brown would I get an extra turn so you got to think what if these yellows turn to brown and uh, that's what we're gonna do so that's when you cast it that's why I wish there was a uh, cast cancel because sometimes you go to convert or you accidentally hit a spell or I know it doesn't happen a ton and it's not a huge problem but as a beginner you could cast something and and then decide you really don't want to do that but then you can't take it back because once you cast something you can't take it back even if it's conversion or something that you have a there's like a middle portion of the the process where you could go back and there should be no penalty for it, they still don't let you do it. Alright, so once again, Excavator. Destroy a column. We're going to look for the most brown with the least red. There's three red here, that's probably not right. Three brown, one red, that sounds good. Uh, two brown, one red. So we'll go with the three brown, one red again. This two brown, zero red is pretty tempting though. But I think with the conversion rate that this may be better. 
extra turn again. Uh, Tigraki's up, so don't even need to think about anything. Let's just kill the enemy. Unless, of course, you're going for gold, and that's like your main goal, then uh, maybe you would keep going there and uh, try to get extra turns at the end. But if you know you can kill them and there's only one enemy left, go ahead and do it. Uh, so what else can I say here? We're using all bounty troops, so you got to do that for the most points. you got to use the bounty captain, and what it's the newest one, so goblet, the bounty captain. That's why we're getting times 30. If you don't see times 30 there, you're not doing it right. Um, and we keep going with the, you know, keep going up until you can't. Once you lose a battle, that's when, or once you lose a troop, that's when you should think about just staying where you are. Like, I could, I could do two again if I wanted to. I could go back to one and do that if I wanted to. I just don't want to waste sigils. But, uh, let's go to three. We'll do, like, two more battles. I know this is, like, not going to help people for... Sunday or the end of a uh, bounty, but and the reason I have the troops in the order that I do, Chris Turtle's the tank, so he has to be the first troop. Goblet I have in second slot, um, because I can't put Excavator in second slot because he'll be blocking Tigraki's brown. So that's another thing for beginners: blocking. You don't want a troop in front of another troop if they have the same mana color, if that troop is more important than the other troop. So in this team, Tigraki's more important than Excavator. Excavator's here just to make Tigraki cast. He's not here for any other reason than Tigraki. So if you end up putting him in front of Tigraki, he's going to steal all the brown mana that Tigraki would have got on like Cascades and everything, or even matches. And the first two troops are there to make mana for Tigraki as well. So you don't want them making mana and giving it to Excavator, who then casts and give mana to himself, you know? So that's why can't put him in second slot. So Goblet's there because that's the only slot she can be in. Tigraki's in third because that's the most protected spot. Nobody in front of him's blocking him. So why would I put him in two when he isn't gaining any more mana by being in two? Because neither one of those use his color. So he's in three. And then Excavator's in last because he can't go in two. And he's not a tank, so he can't go in one. And he doesn't need to be in three because that's the best spot. All right, what do we need here? Um, if we match a green, I think we minus green though, so we don't want to do that. But we got green and yellow here. So here's a good example. The board is telling me to match this blue, but you have this brown and this red over here that you could match and get two different colors instead of just one. You have this green and this yellow right here you can match. That's two colors instead of one, even though you're minusing green. You still got the yellow and some green. That's better than this blue. So they never tell you the right thing to match. Like, almost never. Don't listen to this thing, unless it's an extra turn. The only time you listen to this is when it's an extra turn. Because I'm going to do this right now. Tigraki's the most important thing that we have. Actually, I'm going to do this. Check this out. Another extra turn opportunity. So there's overhangs. There's normal extra turns. And then there's these. If I match this purple over to this, these three are going to disappear. So then this green is going to fall all the way down and get into that right here and make a four match. So extra turns are king. King. If you can get an extra turn, it's better than anything. There's only one exception to that. If you need to keep a certain, if you need to keep the most of a color on the board to make your team work. So like in a, for example, like an Ella McGrim team, you need purple. You need a bunch of purple on the board. So, if you get a purple extra turn, you don't take it. With the Rockworm team I showed uh, last Thursday, or two Thursdays ago, the beginner team, you don't match brown extra turns, because you need extra brown. You need all the brown you can get on the board. So, as long as you can cast something, instead of taking that extra turn, that needs that color, you don't match that extra turn. That's the only time ever that you don't take an extra turn. Extra turns are always the best option. Because you can always do the other thing after the extra turn. Because you, you know, there's no reason not to take the extra turn. Almost always. The only thing I can think of is if you're using like an Elemagrim or a Rockworm or something that wants that color on the board so bad. That when you cast it, you're probably going to get an extra turn without 
moving gems. You're going to get it by casting, which is better than moving gems. Getting an extra turn by casting is better than getting an extra turn by moving gems, because you're also doing damage, you know? Anyway, I hope some beginners watch this, or else everybody else is going to be so bored. Uh, Tigraki. We got Tigraki. Let's do that. So whoever has the most armor. So this tree here has 11. Uh, Goblet is a, has an extra turn, so just cast her. Don't even worry about anything. She gets an extra turn, so it's pretty much like a free turn. Always cast her first if she's up. We got three brown. We're looking at uh, Excavator now. Three brown, one red. So eventually you, you, you're... You can think about doing this stuff without it taking too long. Here's an extra turn. Sometimes, another reason not to take an extra turn is if one of your troops has an extra turn built into their spell. Then you would do that first. Like uh, Greed, for example, on your key team. If you see a green extra turn on the board, or a purple extra turn on the board, or really any extra turn on the board, and you have Greed up, you would cast Greed first use his extra turn first so once again the troop extra turn is is a, high, more, a higher priority than the board extra turn almost always high king iron gut same thing cast him before you take like what well, you don't take the gems on the board because if you cast the troop first then they're open to absorb that mana that you would you're going to take off the board Hopefully you understand what that what I'm trying to say there. So, with this one, we don't have any troops that are up that do an extra turn, so I'm just going to take it. Even though I don't need red, I might get some sort of cascade that gives me blue or yellow or green. Um, and I'm not perfect with, with... I'm not perfect, but I think that's one of my strong suits is how I move gems around and play the game. I might not be the best at making teams... But I, th I feel like I'm one of the best at moving gems around on the board, if you may. If that's a skill. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty confident in that, that I'm... You know, I make a mistake here and there. But I also see other people make mistakes that are also really good at the game. Uh, like, yeah, I'm not going to say names or anything, but... It's just like um, somebody writes a book and they're a really good author but you still catch like typos and, and it might not even be their fault because you know but come on let's do this I see right here we can turn red into brown here's another another uh, tip for you sometimes you don't want to convert red like if you have different options to convert like right here I have blue you really want to be converting the the gem color with the most available so we have blue has 12 I'm looking all the way on the left side of the screen here. Blue has 12 gems. Yellow has 12 gems. Those are the two most abundant color. We want as much brown on the board as we can get. So we really want to we really want to turn blue or yellow into brown if we can. Um, and we really want to avoid turning red into brown because we want red on the board because to Graki. So we could do this, but that would be a mistake. So we cast it, and we do blue, not red. So this is the first one you probably saw right here. So you don't want to like jump the gun and turn and change red into brown. It would still probably get, turn out fine because we only have two troops left over here. You would get Tigraki up probably. You would kill one. You would be fine. You got Excavator. But in deeper battles where it matters more, you don't want to be taking that red off the board. Um, we got a green extra turn for Goblet. We got Skull extra turn. That's good because we'll probably finish up the match. But this one's higher, so I'm going to take this one first because we don't have any explosions on extra turn. So usually you want to take the higher extra turn first. Like this one's lower on the board. This one's higher, so you take this one first because, like in this instance, it doesn't matter because we're probably going to finish the battle with, with this skull match. But um, in any other instance, you'd want to take the higher extra turn first. So there's so much I could tell you guys about matching gems on the board. I feel like that's my strong suit. Um, so now I'm going to take these skulls. It's an extra turn, so it doesn't hurt me to do it. And plus it kills that troop. And uh, just end the battle. I don't have to think about anything else, because Tigraki's going to kill that guy. Don't have to think about nothing else, because Tigraki's going to kill that guy. 
All right, one more battle. I don't want to make this too long. I know you guys only watch like six minutes of my videos, so. I've been looking at my analytics. That's why the earlier stuff I said. Literally still says only 65% of people that watch are subscribed, though. I think that's crazy. There's got to be 5% of that 65% that would hit subscribe for me. There's got to be. I know they're just busy or, or at work or something like that, and that's why they don't do it. Because I know they would do it if they could. Right, guys? Alright, so here we're looking for brown and, and red. I mean, you got to think about your banner, too. So, I forget what kind of banner I used. I think blue. I think that's why it's telling me to match blue so much, because I have a, a double blue banner. Double blue red. So that's why it's telling me to match blue so much. But I'm going to go with this one up here. Because you also got to think what's going to happen when you match gems. And I could get a yellow match by matching this blue. If I move this blue over here and these three disappear, then something's going to end up here. And if you have a storm, you can kind of guess what it's going to be, but we don't have a storm. So we're hoping for yellow. We didn't get it, but at least we tried. Uh, what else? So now we have our uh, Chris Turtle up, so let's look for a convert. I see this red again. I don't really want it. Uh, we have uh, blue and purple as our most abundant gems on the board. If we can't find those, we have yellow next. So blue and purple. So I'm going to look at all my blue gems and see if I, if I turn them to brown, can I get an extra turn? Yep, I can, right here. So we're going to cast it on blue. I see an overhang in my dreams right here. You see that? Overhang. Two here, then two here. Do we have an extra, do we have three match down here? No, we don't. So we can't utilize that uh, overhang. But I always see them. I try to always see them. I see this too. I match this brown I, and these, these two purple fall and I get a purple down here. But I don't think I'm going to do any of that. I think I'm just going to go with Tigraki. Hit the enemy with the most armor. But in this case, we've got a ha high value target in uh, Va uh, Valraven. We don't want him running away. So let's take him out first. Red extra turn. No reason not to take it. Uh, especially because Tigraki's not up or anything. So especially in that case. Um, looking at the board a little bit just to make sure I don't miss any extra turns. Because somebody will point it out. Like this yellow. almost. You know. What if there was a yellow up here. It would fall down to here. But there's not. I don't see anything. So I'm going to go with Excavator. Looking for the the column with the most... Is it column or row? It's column, right? Column is up and down. Row is left to right. So looking for the column with the most brown and least red. Here's two brown. Two brown. Three brown, no red. That's almost perfect. Three brown, two red. Two brown, one red. Two brown, no red. Three brown, two red. So three brown, no red. Pretty good. About the best you can do, almost. And I didn't get an extra turn with the best I could do. That's nice. Uh, looks like this board is just begging for an extra turn somewhere. But, uh... I don't want to spend too much time looking for it. Um, let's cast Tigraki. He's our... The main reason we're playing is to get him up and kill. So, 8 armor soon as he's up, you should almost always cast him, unless you see something like this. Match these skulls, get yellow. That's a pretty good turn there. But, goblet, once again, extra turn. No reason not to do it. Gave everybody half mana. I guess there is a reason. What the f... Oh, she gave two people half their mana. So she picked the guy. So, I don't know. That's not as good as I thought. I wish it gave everybody half mana. That'd be way better. Yeah. First two allies? So she's one of the first two allies. Okay. So that's crap. I almost want to put her in the last slot now. But then I can't put... Anyway. 
I almost want to move to Grocky up one. I think that's what I'll do. So you guys got to see it here. Somebody else would have made this team, exact team, and put her, put Tigraki up one. Um, Chris Turtle, so blue and red are our most uh, abundant. Um, we don't want to use red if we don't have to, but if it's the only one that can be converted to get an extra turn, then you still use it, but you know what I mean? You don't want to use it if you can avoid it, but if you have to, you still do it. So red, blue, green, everything's good. Everything's fine. So any kind of convert we can get would be fine. I see red once again. We really don't want to do that if we don't have to. But I don't really see any other ones. With a quick, quick glance. We got blue here, blue here, purple, no. Green, no. Nothing. Green, no. Purple, no. Don't see it. I'm not going to look too long. I guess I'll just use the red so you get to see the ex exception to the rule here. If it's only one you got, then do it. Because we still got Tigraki up. Take this brown extra turn because we want to get Excavator going. Might as well. It's an extra turn. Nothing bad can really happen off that except for the examples I mentioned. And uh, it's the end of the battle. This will kill him. So take the skulls. So you got to see me change my team. So now I'm going to do this. I'm moving to Grocky up one. So there you go. You got to see it happen in real time. Because now when we get Goblet up, the chance to give mana uh, goes to Tigraki, which we need. So now I got to do one more battle just because, just because of that. And I hope this isn't too long. It's like, once again, you guys, six minutes. You're six minute men. Y'all are six minute men. And that's not a, 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 a diss or anything. You're, just, you're getting it. You're getting it in. You're getting it in. I understand. You gotta get it in. Uh, if I match this, I think we're all good. Get the brown also. We got some skulls here. So an in-depth beginner's bounty for y'all today. Which other people can learn from it. Goblet. Now, might as well. Remember, it's an extra turn. Now we, we're using her better because if she gets the um, half mana to first two allies, we actually get to use it instead of being an idiot. And that just gave... Uh, it just entangled. So, Luckily, I didn't get that very often, so I only wasted it like once, probably. Now with the skull matches, you want to do the doom skulls whenever you can because they do more damage. So, And they give you mana. They explode. They give you at least a little bit of mana. Tigraki. The guy with the most armor. Um, Here's one thing. Do I do Chris Turtle first or do I do Excavator first? Doesn't matter because we got skulls. Well, yeah, it does. Now eh, let's just take the skulls. I probably should do one of the two spells first, but I think this will kill. It's not a big deal at the moment. I guess it depends if you have convert or if you have a lot of brown in a row. Like which one you would do first. I'm trying to think. Do I have any converts? I got blue right here. So let's do that. We'll do this. Convert blue. Get Tigraki up. We got skulls too. It doesn't matter though. We're just killing. And as you can see, changed up my team a little bit as we went. Now I have Goblet. So if you only watch the first six minutes, if you're a six minute man, uh, then you would probably still have Stigaraki down here. But yeah, put Goblet in third um, because of the half mana thing to the first two allies. I didn't think about that. That's my bad. So now at least she's given half mana to take Rocky, which is good. And he's not being blocked by anybody. He's still in the second safest spot. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, get your uh, bounty done. Keep going. Keep going until you lose a troop. Once you lose the troop and you start having trouble, just stay there. Stay put and redo the same one over and over and over. Maybe on 12. Maybe on 13. Maybe 16. Most people usually stop around 12 or 13 just to give you a gauge 
So if you stop on 10, you're probably fine. If you stop on 15, you're probably fine. If you're stopping on 3, you're probably not fine. Uh, 8 would be the earliest I would stop, you know? You probably want at least these 100 points here. You probably want to at least get the 10. Try to. But if you're, like, having bad trouble on 8 and you're barely making it through, you got to stop where you got to stop. Like, I don't blame you. But um, try to get to at least 10, I would say. 12 is a good target. 13 is a good target. 16. 20 is the best target. You can do four bounty troops on 20 with potions, uh, and it's not that hard. And that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, we'll complete this Friday probably while I do the spoiler video, so you'll get to see it at least. Maybe. I don't want to promise anything. And I uh, got a bunch of idea of uh, video ideas. And um, yeah, 65% of you, come on. I know 5% of you out there, you're working. I know you are. And you don't have time to subscribe. But when you get home, think about old Cinecool. And let's get that down to 60%. Um, UK going strong. That age group's going, I know who you are. You're going strong. I appreciate you, Captain Planet. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Uh, have a good weekend. Peace.